क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्थ व्हाट इज लिस्ट कॉम्प्रीहेंशन दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड विद पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज यूजिंग लिस्ट कॉम्प्रीहेंशन वी क्रिएट अ न्यू लिस्ट बाय कन्वर्टिंग कोड ऑफ मल्टीपल लाइंस इनटू अ सिंगल लाइन ऑफ कोड दिस इज अ सिंटेक्स फॉर लिस्ट कॉम्प्रीहेंशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू राइट द एक्सप्रेशन देन वी हैव टू यूज द फोर की वर्ड फ्रॉम फोर लूप देन वी हैव वेरिएबल or you can say item then we have in keyword and iterable and at last we have if condition and we can have more than one if condition also you can also mention these two points here that first is passing the if condition or conditions is optional here and second is the list comprehension is mostly used as compared to the set comprehension and dictionary comprehension in python Let's do some example to understand this. Suppose I have to create a list of some numbers from zero to nine using for loop. So how can I do for i in range ten and print i? This syntax will print zero to nine as you all know using for loop. now i can convert these two lines of code in a single line of code using list comprehension and the syntax will be our first of all we have to pass our expression our expression here will be our variable i then we have to use for keyword for then we have to write the variable our variable is i here and then we have to use the in keyword in and we have to write the iterable and the iterable here will be this range 10 so we will write here this so this is a simple syntax of list comprehension to get the output in the form of list we have to pass square brackets in the starting as well as at the end and if we save this in a variable a and after printing a you will see that we are getting the same output 0 to 9 and the output now is in the form of a list so this is a simple example of list comprehension in this example we haven't used any condition here because passing the if condition is optional now we will do second example where we will pass some condition again using for loop i will print numbers 0 to 20 and the condition will be we will print those number only which are divisible by 4 so first of all we will do this using for loop for i in range 20 here we have to put our condition if i percentage means divided by 4 and the remainder will be 0 then we have to print i so these are the numbers that are divisible by 4 between 0 to 20 now we can also convert these line of codes into a single line using the list comprehension and as per our syntax first of all we have to pass our expression our expression here will be our variable name only i then we have to use for keyword for then our variable i and then we have to use in and after in we have to pass the iterable here our iterable is range 20 okay as you all know i told you we have to pass the square brackets to get the output in the form of list first of all when i run this it will show all numbers between 0 to 20 because we haven't put any condition here now after this we can put the condition using if keyword if and our condition i percentage for equal equal to 0 and when i run this you can see it will print only those numbers that are divisible by 4 in the form of a list so this is the second example of list comprehension where we have put one condition now we can also put more than one condition here suppose i will take this example only here paste and i have to put second condition here and our second condition will be we have to get the numbers that are less than 10 so our first condition will be the number will be divisible by 4 and our second condition will be that the number will also be less than 10 so this is the syntax 
of list comprehension where we have used two different conditions we will save this in variable b and when i print b you can see this is the output output is in the form of a list and it is satisfying our both condition the number is divisible by 4 also the all the numbers in the output are less than 10 so that's how you can explain the list comprehension using this syntax and using the single if condition or using more than one if condition in our next question which will be related with machine learning we will talk about how will you decide which machine learning algorithm we have to use for a particular problem